Ignore Me vlog. I'm in Clarkson and today I wanted to talk about foundation. Someone asked the other day, commented or tweeted and asked if I could talk about the foundation that I use and actually how I apply it. And I'm really happy to do that because I think we aren't taught that much about foundation. What you should use, how you should apply it, where you should be getting it. Do you need expensive stuff? Do you need cheaper stuff? Like no one really says. So I thought today I would talk through my foundation, what I wear and how I put it on and what I kind of look for in foundation, if that makes sense. For this, I'm going to do three foundations. I've got one which is very reasonably priced that you can go and get from a super drug or a boots or whatever. I've got one which is a little bit more expensive but it's kind of in the halfway bracket. And then I've got a third one which I think is ridiculously expensive but... I kind of love anyway. So I have three with me and I will um, explain them all as we go. The first one, my reasonably priced one, now if this focuses, yes, there we go. So this is L'Oreal, it's their True Mac, True Match Foundation um, and this is super blendable. Um, I don't know what colour it's in, it perfectly matches. I'll find out what colour this is and I'll let you know. Um, but this is my cheap, um, cheapy one and I'll put the price as well below. I'll put links to all these below and the prices with them as well because I can't remember off the top of my head. So I start, maybe you shouldn't, maybe you should, everyone is different. The way that I start by putting my foundation on is I put one, oh my god this is so much too dark, I've not been away, this is last my was on holiday. This is the foundation brush that I use, again I'll leave the link, this is Clinique. Is it going to focus or is it going to, yeah. So this is a Clinique brush, it's a bit grubby, it needs a, uh, needs a clean, but I really like it as a foundation brush. No one told me anything about foundation brushes, so I had to try quite a lot out. This is the one that I've tried and friggin' loved, so this is my recommendation. Now, this foundation is much too dark for me, because I haven't been on holiday. But, I will show you, anyway, I have already moisturised my skin. You can use a primer. Um, but you scoop it all up on the brush and pop it quite obviously oh my god this is so much too dark for my face oh, girl I'm a little a little orange with this but you can imagine just picture me with a gorgeous tan wearing this so rubbing it in everywhere and down the neck as well because there's nothing worse than that line which we are all guilty of getting from time to time. Right, this is a little bit too dark for my skin. However, if you remember, before I put it on, I had a spot here. I think this actually covers pretty, pretty well. Pretty good coverage. Mm -hmm. I think this is really, really good. And this was, I mean, this is, this is my cheap brand. This is my really reasonably priced foundation. So that's number one, which I, which I love. Okay. Bare face again, and not really primed or moisturised, but kind of, kind of a little damp from that. So let me just get my second. Okay, so this is my second recommendation. This is slightly more expensive. This is the one that I, truth be told, wear every single day. And this is Clinique, um, and it is a two-in-one blending and beyond perfecting foundation and concealer. Um, I really like this one. I like the way it applies. I like that you don't pour it out. And it is a good end brand, but it's only £25, which I think for foundation is actually incredibly reasonable. So this is my go-to. This is what I love. This is what I wear every day. Um, but I want to show you all aspects. So this one is different applying. You put it kind of everywhere. I see the margin. Nails, forehead. Oops, got some hair in there. Okay. And then you can always touch up. Because it's got concealer inside it as well, I don't wear concealer with it. I find that it covers my blemishes, of which they are plentiful. Um, I find that it covers them really, really well. Okay, this is a tiny bit too dark for me. I'm just so pale at the moment. Damn this English nasty weather. Same again as I did using the same brush, which I haven't cleaned, which I need to clean. Um, Right up to the hairline, obviously, because you don't want that line. Okay. Want some cheekbones. Um, but I love this. I had, again, spot here, gone. Um, I love this. I think it's very light. 
it's kind of matte so it's you don't know very shiny but again it does not dry your skin out i get really really dry skin and this oh my god and this throw my brush away hang on it's so far away um this i find keeps my skin very supple and smooth and still looks healthy doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup like it doesn't no one's gonna look at you and be like oh she's caked it on um it actually does look really subtle so this is my favorite having said that i do want to show you the last one i use which is my spenny one um because because i want to give you a fair and balanced opinion and i want to show you all the ones that i do use um but yeah that is that is number one for me that is every single day okay now foundation number three i think if you've been following the blog for ages i've probably raised about this at some point um this is my expensive foundation it's in a lovely bottle have a look it's Dior, so you know it's fancy. Um, and Dior forever. I do love this. This is my guilty pleasure, the love of my life. But I can't get away with spending this much money on foundation. However, for a treat, when I want to look real fancy um, and get really good coverage, I do use this. So, this is again a hand pump. Pop it on the hand. Use two, two or three pumps, my cinnamon focus. You'll and scoop it up again on your brush. Oh, I miss this. I haven't used it for so long. Oh, the one thing that this has above the others is that it smells so good. Like, literally, can't even deal with how good it smells. Maybe today's gonna be a treat day. I'm gonna keep this on. I'm gonna have to go do something fancy though. Ow, put myself in the eye. Oh my god, okay. I freaking love this, guys. This is a very matte, there's no shine to this at all. So if you're quite an oily person and you do get, you know, like in your T-zone area, you do get quite oily, I would recommend this above the others because it is very matte. It's not shiny at all. Which sometimes I really need, particularly in the summer, I find this to be really good when I do have oilier skin. Let's focus me. I don't know if you can see the difference in this camera, I'm really hoping that you can, because I really like this one. Okay, so now you have seen my three favourite foundations. Um, we had L'Oreal, we had Clinique, and we had Dior. In terms of each of them, I like the L'Oreal one, it's good and it isn't expensive. That is my main selling point, is it does the job and it doesn't cost much. In terms of what I love for everyday use, is the Clinique one, because it does save me money, and you can get away, it's much more subtle. The Dior Forever, much heavier coverage, um, and it's probably more suitable for a night out, or if you know your selfie game's gonna be strong, or if you're shiny and you want to flatten, matte it out. They would be my my advice, so you can kind of slip yourself into whichever ca category? category you would like. Um, in terms of applying, of course you can use your fingers, you can do whatever you want, um, you're, a, you're a free agent. In terms of what I do, I use a brush because I find it better, I think it applies better. I hate having foundation fingers because then my white iPhone goes orange, my laptop, everything I touch, I don't like that. I feel like, I live in London, I touch disgusting shit, I've got a dog, like I'm touching stuff all the time, it's really gross. So I think as well it's more hygienic to use a brush and um, I'm sure that all these beauty bloggers know what they're talking about and probably it applies better. So I definitely use a brush. I'm going to put links to the products that I use below, so the Clinique brush, the Clinique foundation, the L'Oreal foundation and the Dior foundation. I think by putting three foundations on I've eaten some at some point taste a little minging up in here right now um but yes guys i hope that's helped so good luck happy foundationing happy painting um and yours 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 please let me know what you'd like to see next i'm always available got the camera um got the tools i got the willing so uh yes get in touch um lots of love to all of you please subscribe it means the absolute world to me obviously hashtag not a beauty vlog but you know trying to be helpful where I can. So yes, that's that's what this channel's about. Um, lots and lots of love, have a great week. I've got a really exciting video coming up on Sunday and I cannot wait to share it with you. Um, but have a great week and all my love, lots of love, have a great day, great night, sleep well, whenever you're watching this, whatever. Um, love you all, take care and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.